Well, hello, good people. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about magic constants. Now, if you followed my last tutorial, I showed you how to declare regular constants. And now I will show you some cool stuff with magic constants, which means that these constants are already declared by PHP. And with those, you can print out different interesting informations. Okay, let's get to it. Now, to show you all the power of those magic constants, we need to first declare a namespace. And um, for now, don't worry what that is. We will cover this in another tutorial. So namespace, why not call it tutorial and semicolon. Here we go. This should always be put in the very first line. Okay. Now, well, first of all, let's check it out. We have different things here. For example, you can echo out the current working directory and you would do this like this. You echo out D I R and two underscores in the front and two underscores afterwards. I will concatenate that with a new line string because this will keep the readability high, all right? So here we go, directory, refresh, and this is the actual working directory. It's of course in the htdocs of xamp or lamp, how you would call it here on Linux, all right? So with this, you can echo out the current working directory. Now, with the magic constant called file, let me just copy that here, you are able to echo out not only the working directory, but also the file name. And I call this file php 7-2.php. Pretty much the same thing, but with the file name as well. Next thing is a function and a class. So it returns the current function name and the class name. Well, obviously for this, we first have to declare a function and a class if not, this will not work. So let's create a class. And this is the super class. Why not? Always cool. And with this, oh, wait, wait, we start with the function. Okay, sorry. Since function is the first thing here on the list, let's start with a function. And the function is the super function. And within this function, we are going to echo out the current function. So pretty cool, a function th that does nothing but echo out its own name. Very useful, if you ask me. But this is for testing purposes, so don't worry <laughs> so much about it. Okay, what happened here? Ah, okay, well, <laughs> okay, I see the, do you, do you see what happened here? Well, we have an unexpected curly bracket. And obviously you always, when you declare a function, you have to put the regular brackets before the curly brackets. And now we don't have any output, and that is because we have to call the function, super function, brackets, semicolon, and this is how we call it. Here we go. The function name is in tutorial super function. Okay, namespace is tutorial and the function name is super function. That's how you call it. The next thing here is the class. So obviously to test the magic method here, we would have to, to declare a class first and let's do the class hyperclass because why not here you do not have to put the regular brackets you can just start with the curly brackets and within this hyperclass you need to um, declare a function again to print out and uh, test this magic method so we would go and do wait wait why not use the Oh, come on. 
why don't you just give me a uh, suggestion here public alrighty okay so then let's just uh, ah <laughs> there it is okay that's what I was looking for the autocomplete okay public function and we call out we call it echo function name also by convention you always use camel case for classes okay this means for functions you can do this and put underscores and for classes you should put camel case which means that every each and every word has a capital letter right mm, let me put that in one line echo function echo function and um, there's no value given here alrighty so and in this function all we do like before is that we echo out the function name uh, I'm sorry <laughs> we echo out the class name not the function name we already did that echo class name we call it echo class name just for clarity and then here we go again concatenate that with a new line HTML semicolon okay now refresh nothing happens do you know why nothing happens okay it's pretty easy nothing happened here because where we created a class obviously we put a function in the class but also what we need to do in order to print out something is we need to create a new um, well <laughs> we need to create something that uses this class okay and this is what we're going to do right now so um, well we could call it any way we want so for example you can go ahead and give the object that we are going to create now any name possible so just test object equals new hyperclass because this is the class so now we have a new object okay semicolon and then obviously this object should call the function within the class and this is how you would do it with the minus and greater than sign and then you choose echo class name all right here we go brackets save refresh and that's what the class name is okay this is maybe a little complicated for you N not that a bigger problem because now this is just about the magic concept here don't worry about the rest okay uh, well bottom line is we create a class the class has a function or a method and uh, then we created an object of this class and we called the function from the object and it says in tutorial this is the namespace again we have a hyperclass this is the class name okay so i showed you directory file function class now these are pretty easy we just echo out the working directories line here again concat break remember the semicolon and refresh so we are in line 29 which is correct okay <laughs> not very special this thing I don't know why you would use that but it's maybe for testing purposes this might be useful and the method that's the next thing that we can uh, print out here and well the method is should be uh, like in a, in a function as well okay and the method is the function within the class so this is what's important here so we have the hyperclass and we have the first public function here and then we create another oh, come on again another function okay 
another public function, echo class name, and then we echo out, oh, you know what? <laughs> Why would we do that? We can just save all the trouble here and echo out the same thing here, but just not the class. We echo out the method, because why not, all right? Just save us some time here, that's the same thing. So first thing is the class, that is the hyperclass. Second thing is the method, that is namespace tutorial, class, hyperclass, and then what is the class, uh, the method name? Well, the method is the function of the class, okay? So method is a function. And in this case, the function is called echo class name. That's the, that's the only thing that says, all right? So just a more specific information that we get here. And well, the last thing that we can echo out is the namespace. Let's just copy that, echo it out, and you already know the namespace because we echoed it out several times here. That is obviously tutorial, all right? So bear in mind these ex that these magic constants exist. There's a whole bunch more of them. And that is important because magic constants always start with two underscores. You should not name your own constants and you should not define your own constants with underscores even though it is possible. But this might get you confused with the magic constants that already exists. All right, that's it for today, folks. Have a good evening and I see you in the next tutorial.